We're here in the Toyota Solutions studio, and joining me now is Misha Green. She's co-creator, writer, and executive producer of Underground. And also we have one of the stars of Underground, Journey Smollett-Bell. Mm -hmm. She's also an activist. Mm -hmm. Welcome to you both. Thanks for being with us. Thanks for Thank having us. Having so we should say that Underground is a, a drama. It airs on WGN. It's been on the air for about five weeks now, mm -hmm. right? Yeah. And it's about the Underground Railroad, hence the name Underground, in Georgia pre-Civil War, correct? Yes. Yep, do I have that all straight? Good. You got your homework. Yeah. Oh, I did it, yay! <laughs> <laughs> so tell us, you know, you've shared a little bit about how Underground was passed by several networks. Mm -hmm. Now that it's been on the air, and you can both answer this question, now that it's been on the air for a little over a month, do, do you feel that it's making a little bit of an impact already, even though I know it's been a short period? Um, yeah, so it's the highest rated show on WGN, um, and the response to it just on Twitter, just yeah. from the fans, everybody's, you know, everybody's tweeting all the time, being like, this happened, I can't believe this happened, yeah. and it's been great, it's been wonderful. We're like the little engine that could. Yeah. <laughs> you know, the under underdog Gr yeah. that everyone kind of underestimated. And it feels good, you know, now that it's on, people genuinely appreciate and applauded mm -hmm. and feel like it's very necessary television. So getting the show on the air was an achievement, so you check that off your list. But w what's the next step with the show? Do you have sort of plans? I mean, obviously you want to build your audience, I'm assuming. You're, you've got, you're off to a great start. Um, wh what are your hopes for the program? I mean, my hopes are already like Realized. fulfilled, yeah. right? Yeah. I'm just like, uh, so yeah. I just to keep people keeping engaging and having mm -hmm. the, what I love to see too is on Twitter when people make the connections from then to now yeah. and understand that mm -hmm. a lot of the stuff that was the originating, you know, sin in American history, mm -hmm. all of that is permeated through our lives today mm -hmm. and affecting us today. And to have those conversations start is what I would love mm -hmm. to keep happening mm -hmm. with the show. Yeah, no, that's very, that's an interesting observation. And it is true, like every single Wednesday when it airs, there's always these observations that people are making about, wow, have we come really far? You know, how far have we come as America? Because the storyline Yeah, you know, this is echoes what's happening today. Exactly. Yeah. The you know, of course there's the overt injustices and the overt racism. However, there's very real systemic injustices, very real systemic racism that we still fight with today. Mm -hmm. um, and that we have directly inherited from slavery. Mm -hmm. um, and it's interesting that people completely get that. So tell me, since you're one of the writers, um, a little bit about the writing process then. As you go in and you work on the script for the show, what are you thinking about? What are what are you tossing around? What's the process like? Well, Joe Pekaski is my co-creator, and we um, bounce ideas back and forth. And the beautiful thing about our partnership is that, you know, the Underground Railroad was the first integrated civil rights movement, and Joe is a white male, older white male, and I'm a younger black woman, and we have the conversations that... It's so symbolic. That, I love it. Yes. It is. <laughs> yeah. I love that. And we're having, as we're writing, we're, you know, we're just best idea wins. We just discuss. We can talk about anything. So we start to have conversations that we hope the show is going to inspire. So then are you looking at today's headlines to kind of see how you can draw from them in order to um, write your scripts at all or no? I, you know, I don't think it's as like, let's pick up the newspaper, yeah. see what it is and put it down. But you know, Nina Simone said, and I'm paraphrasing here, that you, as an artist, you can't help but be a sign of the times. Mm -hmm. And so I think you can't, when we were doing this research, we, we were seeing those parallels happening. Mm -hmm. So I think that it, it's it's a little more organic in that way. Mm -hmm. Okay. Journey, you must get a lot of people recognizing you um, from the show. W what's been the reaction that you are hearing from the audience, from viewers? You know, I think at first when um, people heard about the show, there was this r very real skepticism about it, whether or not we need another slave drama. Mm -hmm. um, you know, and I think one thing that we've been, you know, very overwhelmed and pleasantly surprised with is the fact that people feel this show is very important and it's very needed and it's very timely right now. Um, we have never seen a show told about the Underground Railroad and we've never seen a film. Um, this is a very important part of our history that's really undertold. I mean, these were heroes. They were the greatest, they, they, they make our country great, you know, and they really changed the trajectory of our nation just by running. Mm -hmm. um, 
and I think that has really inspired the viewers to be, you know, to take account of their own life. Um, I, I don't think you can watch the show without taking a look in the mirror um, and celebrating how strong we are as a people, that we come from that revolutionary spirit, but also being challenged to do more. Mm -hmm. Television has changed so much in the past five years, definitely last 10 years. What do you think still needs to be done? We need more. Yeah. <laughs> more, more, more. We need more. Yeah. Yeah, we need more um, creative people behind the scenes. I mean, I think there were a few years ago, um, prior to, honestly, prior to like Shonda Rhimes and Scandal and yeah. a lot of those shows, yeah. uh, there was a period where our stories were not being told. Mm -hmm. um, I think we're definitely moving in the right direction and there's way more di diverse stories, not just diverse people, but diverse stories. You have Off the Boat, you have Blackish, you have Empire, you mm -hmm. have um, Underground, which are all so many different elements of who we are as people of color. Um, and I think we're so complex people and I think we just need more, you know, we just need more people telling more stories. Yeah, and you know, there, we talk about this resurgence, but the numbers behind the scenes are worse than they were actually last year and the mm. year before. And I think that we have to really push to mm -hmm. get different voices of all kinds, not just, you know, African American, mm -hmm. but um, women you know, mm -hmm. LGBT, like all of that stuff mm -hmm. into the room so that those voices can be heard because mm -hmm. they're, they're people that need to be heard. That's yeah. America and around us right yeah, now. Yeah, and that's the thing yeah. that's just so confusing to us because we know a different reality. We all know a different reality. Right. We know America does not look the way it's portrayed it's just not in television. On, on television. It's not represented. Way. And, um, uh, men and women of color are completely underrepresented, women are underrepresented. I mean, I think San Diego State did a study last year for like the top grossing films, yeah. and it was something like, of the top 100 grossing films, women had 33% of all speaking roles. Mm -hmm. And we know we're not just 33% of the population, so yeah. why can't we, why can't our stories be represented? And I think we just have to keep pounding the door down. Keep pounding. Yeah. You ladies are doing that. It's been such a pleasure to speak with you both. Thanks for sharing your experience with us. Thank, Thank you. you.